this episode, I will tell you about my experience shooting in the Glamis Sand Dunes near San Diego. What's up everyone? My name is Alan Martinez. I'm an international wedding and lifestyle photographer. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Here I provide videos for photographers, cinematographers, but also for some of our brides. So consider subscribing so you can get some good content that we have coming up in the future. In this video, I will tell you about my experience shooting an engagement session for our clients in the Glamis Sand Dunes near San Diego. And if you want to save yourself the hours of research that I spent planning this photo shoot, then stick around for the next few minutes. The Glamis Sand Dunes is an exotic landscape of more than 40 square miles of nothing but sand dunes. And unbeknownst to me, this desolate landscape happens to be an iconic place where dozens of couples elope and take engagement pictures every year. We happen to be one of the lucky ones that went there this year. We got some killer photos and I'm going to bring you along for the photo shoot. And after months of not traveling and being stuck at home, we finally made it out to a photo shoot. We are in Laguna Beach, in California. Super pumped, headed to a photo shoot in the desert in the sand dunes of San Diego in, in about an hour or so. We have a beautiful bride, a stud of a groom, and we just cannot wait. A little bit bummed about the weather because it's it's very hazy and there's fog everywhere and wherever there isn't fog there's smoke from fires all over california but we're gonna make the best of it we're gonna do a killer photo shoot and i can't wait to bring you along let's go let's go you know sometimes it's nice to do things outside of your comfort zone the bride had emailed us saying she was coming to miami but me after being quarantined in miami since march due to COVID 19 i suggested to go elsewhere now granted there are worse places to be stuck and it's not like the glamour sand dudes is around the corner from any photographer really it's in the middle of nowhere and unlike other places like central park in new york or miami beach these are hard to get to places so despite how many photographers actually go there compared to the number of photographers in the whole united states it's not that many therefore you're going to end up with unique photos and if you want to go there for your next photo shoot whether you're a bride a photographer or a cinematographer i'm going to share with you some of the things i found during my research and you're going to see how i actually shot there if you're interested in a more in-depth coverage of all the technical aspects of this photo shoot then i have added about three lessons to my master class where i cover all the technical aspects from what lenses i use the exposure and i even show you how i do a sky replacement because as you heard me say before california was all engulfed in fires and there were smoke and fog everywhere and the skies were not that attractive and one of the three lessons i added to the master class about this photo shoot i show you how i replace the sky in photoshop you can check out the class with 30 day money back a guarantee no questions asked so you really have nothing to lose check it out it's all there but anyway on to the things that you'd like to know if you want to shoot here the first would be to actually know how to get there my clients flew into san diego i chose to fly into lax because i had other commitments in la and also it had more choices of flights and direct flights from miami there are a few hotels relatively close by but i can't tell you much about them because i actually stayed in laguna beach because i had some other commitments there it took the bride about two hours and 45 minutes to get there from san diego but it took me about three hours and 15 minutes to get there from laguna beach However, the drive is beautiful, so load up on your favorite podcast and hit the road. The address you want to put in your GPS is the Osborne Lookout. I'll put a link in the description, but this is the parking lot you want to go to because it is the closest to the sand dunes. You literally get off the car and you can start shooting right away. This is in the middle of nowhere, so make sure you put your address in the GPS correctly and go straight to the shooting spot especially if you're driving separate from your client you want to make sure that you have a good meeting point and the place to be is the osborne lookout during our research one of our main concerns was the weather since this was going to be during the summer and we had heard that the temperatures could go up to 115 degrees so we went expecting the worst with long sleeves sunblock and plenty of water somehow we got lucky with the weather and it wasn't as hot as i thought it was going to be However, our cinematographer did complain that the sand was burning her feet because she had open toe sandals. So I recommend wearing closed shoes or sneakers. We hear that when it's hot and windy, the wind can get up to 40 miles an hour. 
So the sand hitting your face is going to feel like a bunch of hot needles hitting your face. And photographers don't think about changing lenses out there or you're going to get sand into your sensor and ruin your camera. I would actually recommend doing this during the colder months of the year or maybe during sunrise where it's a little colder and the winds are a little more subdued. However, we actually did it in the summer and during sunset, but we got pretty good results too. There are really endless spots out there to do your photo shoots. It's literally 40 square miles of nothing but sand. However, the area around the parking lot is the busiest one with of course more footprints and people walking around. So even though it might be a bit tiring walking on the hot sand, if you want to avoid the footprints and the other people in the background, you may have to wander off about five to 10 minutes by foot from the parking lot. It gets even busier closer to the sunset itself where people bring their picnic baskets and even boogie boards to surf down those sand dunes. However, we had no intention of shooting our entire photo shoot against the sun. The sky was not that attractive anyway, so we shot most of our pictures with the sunlight as opposed to against the sun. Therefore, our backgrounds were clean and not too busy with people, but a lot of people do show up there close to the sunset with their picnic baskets and drinks. And speaking of drinks and other things, I will give you some tips here that will make your photo shoot a success, whether you're a bride, a groom, a photographer, or a cinematographer. And the first one is to actually drink plenty of fluids before the photo shoot. Eat and drink before the photo shoot. It's very easy to get dehydrated in such a hot and dry weather. Therefore, hydrate and drink plenty of fluids. There is absolutely nothing out there and nowhere to buy a bottle of water or something to eat. So bring whatever you're going to eat and drink. Some blogs that we read said that you needed a permit. Others said that you didn't. We ended up not getting a permit and we were okay. However, I'm going to link a document in the description of this video with the most up-to-date information as to whether or not you need a permit. For the couples, I would recommend just one outfit as opposed to two or three that sometimes I see in other locations, couples changing multiple times during their engagement session. You really don't have a lot of time if you choose a sunset time to shoot. If you choose to shoot at sunset, you actually have a narrower window of time as the sun drops quicker in the afternoon. Therefore, if you account for the time that'll take you to get to a good photo spot, then maybe 10 to 15 minutes to get acclimated and get your first good shots, you really do not have a lot of time to change into different outfits, in my opinion. So don't worry about changing and just kill it with that one outfit. However, if you insist on changing this parking lot that I recommend it, it's literally next to the sand dunes. You literally get off the car and you can start shooting right away. So that is a possibility if you wanna wear more than one outfit. There is also a bathroom right there in the parking lot in case nature calls. There are plenty of spots on the way to stop and take some cool photos if you're driving with your couple, which is something that we read and it was recommended to drive with your couple in case you couldn't find each other and you didn't have cell phone coverage. However, we came from different cities. I came from Laguna Beach, she came from San Diego, and we had no problem finding each other in that one spot, but we also had no problem with cell phone reception. There was plenty of coverage there, and we had no problem finding each other. And speaking of driving, the nearest gas station is 20 miles away, so plan accordingly, and don't let your tank go to E, as a AAA going out there to give you some gas may not be a pretty experience. Now back to shooting, I found that the best spot to shoot was to the left of the parking lot if you're facing the sun. Most people for some reason were going towards the sun, so you're going to have a bunch of people hanging out there doing elopements and other things. And believe me, it's not only that it takes you 10 minutes to walk up to a spot only to realize that there's a bunch of people there, it's also that your clients may get tired quicker, which will show in the photos and videos. We had none of those issues and we shot a really cool video which I'm going to play for you right now. Show, when we met, I was too young to even think about the qualities I wanted in a husband, but I imagine the ones you possess are far greater than I ever could have dreamt. What I feel for you is beyond understanding. My love for you is all-consuming, life-giving, and unconditional.
I love you for who you are and the person that you make me. I don't deserve you. I don't think I ever could, but I will never stop trying my hardest to make you happy. That was cool, right? I hope you think so. Shooting there has its technical challenges, whether you're shooting photo or video, and I have added a few lessons to my online photography masterclass discussing the technical aspects of this shoot in particular, from the lenses I chose, the exposure values and why, and since California was consumed by smoke from the fires, the skies were not clear and pretty, so I'm including a lesson on how I retouched these photos and how I replaced the skies. These are only three of more than 39 lessons at the time of this recording that explain everything about the business of luxury wedding photography. Literally everything you need to know explained from my 15 years of experience in the industry as a luxury wedding photographer. It has a 30 day money back guarantee so if you don't think I'm teaching you good stuff simply let me know and I'll return your money. For more info click the link in the description or visit photoprocourse.com. So that's it for this video guys. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll make sure to get back to you. If you like this video, give it a like and share it with anyone else you also think may find it useful. For more content like this, please consider subscribing as I have a lot of cool content coming up. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.